Hey everybody, it's Sirius313 back with another install. Super excited to do this next install. It was a uh, request highly by you guys uh, in the comments. And it is the 2014 CHP BMW. I know it can look a little bit uh, complicated to install, but that's why I'm here to help you. First thing that you need to know when installing this is it does not include the vehicle meta um, installation path. It is right here. I'll also have that as well. Well, anyway, the bike is down in the descriptions. I have it linked. We're going to go ahead and get into this. It's a super uh, quick install, so I'm going to show it to you right now. So we're going to go to copy uh, out of here. We're going to copy it, and we'll paste it into the install folder. We always want to use a clean install folder. That way we don't get stuff mixed up. We'll go ahead and extract it here. We'll open it up. Got everything we need. Always first, we read me. So, some key things is you need the Radiance mod for this to work correctly. And he tells you that. Um, everything that's important, you need to read. And so he'll say that you need to install the meta line to get the biker to sit correctly on the bike. That is a key thing. Uh, lights being dim, you need the Radiance. And then here we go, the installation uh, path. So what I do, so I don't have to keep getting lost in all this instructions, I'll grab all this, I will copy, and I will paste it into my own uh, little notepad here, and I'll leave this up during the installation so you can see it. But that having that there just helps me uh, be able to see the instructions at all times. So we'll just go ahead, open this up, and we'll go to the first step, which is going to be installing the vehicle files to mods update. Um, now a key thing that he says in the readme is that you need to go to the latest patch day. For me, the latest patch day didn't work. The one under it did, so you might have to uh, move them around. But I'm going to go ahead and show you this. So I'm going to go to update. Uh, 64 DLC packs, and I'm looking for 10 NG. That was the one that worked for me. So DLC, X64, levels, GTA 5, vehicle RPF, and you'll notice that it is not in here, which it shouldn't be. So we're going to go into edit mode. We hit yes. We always copy to the mods folder. Make sure that we're in mods right up here. Then we're just going to go ahead, grab all three of these, and move it over. Now what I like to do is I like to type in here police, that way I get all the files all at once. We check our work with YFT, we double click it and we should see a 3D image of the bike. So there is our awesome BMW bike. So now the model is in the game but the coding to uh, make it work is not. So that's what we have to do next. So once we're done with that we can move on to the car variation file which it says DLC packs under mods. Now if you go to mods and go to DLC we're not going to have anything. We won't have that pack. So let's get out of here. We're going to have to go back to update. Oh, we got to get rid of police up here. I always forget to do that. And we go to X64 DLC pack and we find uh, MP Valentine's 2. So we're looking for that, we're looking for that, and we found it right there. DLC, and it says we need to go to the common data. So common data, and there it is right there. So we're going to edit right here. We always want to copy to the mods folder. We're in mods right now. And basically, you do, if you don't see this compressed, you don't have to worry. You can just grab the one that he provides. So if we go to important extras, we find the car variation right there. And we're going to go ahead and just move it right into there. You see it change. It's compressed. Step two, done. So now we go to the hard one, the vehicle meta. So we're going to go ahead, uh, get out of edit mode. We'll go to X64, our mods. So it says we need to go to update, update.rpf, common data levels. So common data and levels. Here we go. GTA 5 vehicle meta. Now you can see that I haven't uh, messed with this at all. You may have. So if you see this compressed, you need to follow what I'm uh, doing. If you don't see this as compressed, you can grab the car vary or the vehicles and move it into here. But what we do is we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and go to our backup folder right here. We're going to hit edit because we want to be in the mods folder. Go to vehicle and we're going to drag a copy to the backups folder right there. So now we have an original copy. If we mess this up, we can just pop that back in and we're good again. 
So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll drag one of these down and we'll move it over. And that's the one we are going to be changing. So let's get out of this and we're going to go to this. This is what we need to use. This is the most updated. So it says just to grab this. So we'll just control A, control C, just copy all of this, exit out of that. And we want to go right to, uh, that will go right here to item, right between uh, initial datas and item. We're going to make a space and we're going to go ahead and hit control V. So now what we have done, if we look, is we have pasted uh, the vehicle meta right in here to make the, the biker ride. So we'll file save that. And then this particular one right here that we just saved, we'll open this up and we'll go ahead and drag and drop that in there. Now you saw it change, it is compressed. So that's it guys, that's all we had to do. Now we can go ahead, exit out of this. Uh, we can exit out of this. We'll close that down. I'm gonna go ahead and launch Rage and I will see you in game, show you off this bike. All right guys, game just loaded. We are outside the PD. Gonna pull up the simple trainer. You're gonna wanna go to your vehicle spawn, uh, emergency, and just pick police bike. And now you have the new BMW CHP bike. It does come with a couple of skins that you can change, but let's light this thing up so we can take a look at it and we can hear it. This is one great looking model, especially at night. We're gonna go ahead and make it nighttime so we can check it out. Look how nice and lit up that is. First person is crazy riding on this thing just because of the, uh, how it's got the little map and it's got the working uh, speedometer. We'll go ahead and stop it. Another thing I like, appreciate about this bike is the uh, environment lighting, how it actually lights up the environment, the ground around it. You can see the blue, the red, all the way around it. But yeah, guys, that's the new BMW uh, CHP bike. Hope you guys enjoyed this install. Leave your comments, leave your requests. I definitely want to do more, and I got a ton more that I'm planning on doing. But let me know what you want to see. Well, until next time, I'm Sirius313, and I'll see you guys later.